Hey, I'm Gabrielle Saran, owner of Saran Pilates. I want to go over the kneeling abs exercise today, kneeling abs facing back. Um, it's an exercise for the core and it's really easy to have the arms kind of overcompensate for it. Um, so let's go over it. I have just one blue spring, which is a little lighter than a red, which is a, a nicer spot to start in. We're going to start kneeling on the carriage, knees against the shoulder blocks, and hands on the frames of the carriage. So we're just going to start with a cat-cow stretch. Knees are underneath the hips, and then your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. From here, we're going to tuck the tailbone, exhale, and pull the belly in. And then inhale, arch the back, slide the shoulder blades down the back to open the collarbones. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, the pubic bone comes up towards the belly button. When you arch and inhale, the tailbone goes up and the shoulders slide away from those ears. Exhale. Inhale. One more exhale. Inhale into your neutral spine, which is the natural curve of the spine. So somewhere in between your cat and your cow. From here, without moving the back, so without shifting the spine, keeping the shoulders over the wrists, we're just gonna bend the knees to bring the carriage in and then back out. Let's pull the belly in towards the spine as the knees come in. So this is your flat back kneeling abs. Try to keep the shoulders, see how the shoulders just creeped up to my ears? Try to keep them away from those shoulders. And then a lot of times I'll show you what happens a lot is that we tend to pull from our arms. So do you see how my arms are shifting? Try not to let that happen. Try to keep those shoulders right over those wrists the entire time. So it's the belly pulling in and then the knees come forward. And notice I'm not rounding the back. The spine is super stable, almost like you could balance a tray there on the back. So that's flat back. Moving to round back, Still keeping the shoulders over the wrist. I like to pass my wrist maybe just a little bit more. And we're going to tuck the tailbone. So start like your cat position. Start tucking the tailbone and then the knees come forwards. Tuck your head. Look at your, your thighs. Hold it here. And then slowly untuck. Tailbone comes back up. Again, tuck your tailbone. Pubic bone goes towards the belly button. Exhale. Inhale, untuck, release it back. Scoop the belly, exhale, pelvis shifts, which makes the knees come forwards. So notice if I move my knees first, this is what it looks like. So this is me just pushing from my knees, but from the core, from the pelvis first, and then the knees follow. Rounding the back to the ceiling. And it's always nice to hold it for a second or two. There, so that was kneeling abs facing back. This is for your core and ab exercise. Um, if you want it a little harder, you can switch to one red spring only. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below.